You're gonna show me what's inside? Ready? Yes, I'm ready. One, two, two, three! Oh! See, that's food <laughs> porn right there. <laughs> Ever seen anything like that before? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And I am out here in Anaheim today in Southern California because I'm gonna be checking out a rockin' spot in Anaheim. Now this restaurant I'm going to today is pretty special because according to Yelp, it is the highest rated restaurant in Anaheim, if not Orange County. So I knew I had to visit this place and check out their food. But I'm not doing it alone here today. I'm actually here with a special guest, Joanna from Monster Love to Eat. Hi guys, oh. it's me again. So oh. here today we're at the Craft Festival Gun Fire. It's one of the best, best barbecue in town in the whole LA, I would say. You guys have to come and try it. So if you guys want to see one of the best barbecue experiences that you can have in Southern California, you've come to the right episode. So stick all the way to the end so that you can see this amazing, epic barbecue experience we're going to have. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I post these food and travel videos weekly. You don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, it is time to go in to get some barbecue, Yay! right? Yeah, let's go. All right, guys, so this is Chef D right here. He's the main chef in the house, trained in Texas, and yeah. we got the real deal right here. Right. You're gonna show us how to cook some of that stuff, right? Yeah, we're gonna go back there and show that steak on there, actually. All right, that's the steak, look at that. Yeah, peppering it up, it's about 30 ounces, right? 30 ounces of uh, steak. Oh, how long does it cook in there for? Uh, so we're gonna do a medium, medium rare uh, steak today. So we cook it for about between 12 to 14 minutes. There's actually a grill on top of the oven? Yeah. Yeah, that's so crazy. See guys, this is the oven itself where the steak is cooking, but then above, he's cooking those burgers, the patty. It's like some sort of a smash burger going on here. Yeah. I've never seen an oven configuration like this. <laughs> and what is this, chef? This is chopped brisket. Chopped brisket? Uh, yeah, this is brisket that we smoked for 12, 12 hours, chopped up. Oh yeah, burgers are looking mighty good. There it goes, I love that color. And this is their Riboski burrito. There's uh, mac and cheese that's inside and uh, what kind of meat goes in there? It's gonna be the, the actual rib. Oh, the actual rib yeah. is gonna go in there. Yeah. Okay, works with me. Oh yeah. It's like waffle fries. It's a nice crunch. Yes, it does, and that whole beef rib. What happens afterwards? Now we're gonna put some uh, what we call our comeback sauce. Our comeback sauce. Yes, it, it makes you come back. Yeah, <laughs> I see. <laughs> yeah, so the whole burrito is cooking with the cheese and I loved how that bone is sticking out like that. Okay. Oh, oh, success. You got it, one shot. And once again, guys, this is Joanna here from Monster Love to Eat. She has the most amazing TikTok, Instagram pictures and videos you'll find all over LA. So go to the video description link in order to follow in on her adventures. But today she is joining here for some <laughs> awesome barbecue. You've been here a few times before, right? Yes, I've been to the um, Fullerton location, Pasadena and Anaheim. Oh yeah, look at that cutting action. So after they cook it, They'll cut it. This whole tomahawk steak, oh yeah. Yes, look how delicious it looks. Don't you love the pinkness? It's about medium rare. And then the salt goes all over it. Look at this huge, it's like a giant burrito with the whole rib in there with the bone. A whole rib? Yeah, man, yeah, you're so right. And that's not the only one with the whole rib in it. Because on this side, Look at this one too, this is the McRib. The one that started it all according to the menu. It's a double smash burger, American cheese, brisket, short rib, what they call their comeback sauce, and a whole lot of other things inside of here. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> yeah, the bone is edible, guys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so once you pull it out, it's supposed to leave all the meat inside there, right? Yes, it's already in there. Okay. So Ooh. I'm gonna cut it. Do it. I want to see what's inside. Wow, I love that crispiness. Yeah, there's cheese on top of it that's crispy. But then uh, when you look inside, you'll see all, oh. Oh, I'm getting a heart attack just looking at this. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> that is pretty insane. It's, it's so loaded inside with all of your favorite American food. So how do you want to do it? You want to just eat it just like a sandwich? Cheers. Okay, let's do it. Huh. Oh man. Now this in itself, this uh, burrito, is definitely going to be a meal in of itself. How would you describe like epic barbecue burrito you've ever had? I would say it's the most cheesy one. Cheesy, yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's not for the health conscious. <laughs> so beware if you're on a diet. Don't come here. But if you don't, if you don't care about that, then you come, you're gonna have a fun time with this. Definitely, for sure. Oh, this one's a little tough. Oh, she got Ooh. it. Ooh. There's still meat on it. Yeah, okay. Does it taste good? Ah. Uh, <laughs> this is crazy. It is. How are we going to eat this? I think we're just going to have to put it into our mouth. Mmm. So good. I think the rib is really what makes the sandwich. I've never had something like this before. Have you? I've never at least had it with the whole rib in it. Mm -hmm. This is like taking burger to a new level. For sure it is. Taking a mic, mic, rib, is it rib? Rib sandwich when you rib. roll? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I gotta get another one. Wow. Mmm. This is so big, I can't fit it all in my mouth. I tried to do it like one bite to, to, to get everything. Oh. But it's so good. I could taste the fatty oiliness of this. It's a good fat. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to retire and just enjoy oh, the burger <laughs> exactly <laughs> yeah guys so get this because this one is really one of their most special items yeah. on the menu yeah and here is the big one right here this is called the last supper because this is the biggest one you can get on the menu serves about eight to ten people you can tell we're big eaters right <laughs> this one is the tomahawk steak which is dry aged and perfectly cooked in that oven i think it's pretty comparable to a lot of the fine steakhouses around town this looks so amazing and so epic and to the right the other half of the platter this is the texas barbecue assortment and it has a lot of things on it like we got the brisket and we got the pastrami and uh short rib let's see yeah short rib and that's turkey right there and look at that you even got some lamb that is pretty awesome huh and barbecue sauce yes it is overflowing very generous I think I'm the most excited to eat, other than the barbecue, because I really love a well-cooked steak. Wow! Mmm! Mmm! So good, look at this. It's tender and juicy, and then the smoky flavor. Yeah. And they did say it was dry aged, right? Mm -hmm. It's high quality. This restaurant doesn't uh, skimp on quality. Mm. <laughs> that is the best part, actually. It is. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there's still some meat on there's it. There's still some meat, and it's like really smoky. Oh. More flavors. Very crispy too. You take that, I take the whole plate. <laughs> Ooh yeah, this is. We got really Texas style going on. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, and I just came back from Texas a few weeks ago, <laughs> so I'm having good memories there. We're going back there now. Exactly. Okay, and so let's try the brisket. Brisket indeed. Mm -hmm. I got a fatty piece. See, it's so good that it falls apart. That's how you know it's good, right? I like how tender it is. Let's cut the sauce. Yes, and guys, it comes with so much barbecue sauce. I mean, the meat already tastes good without the barbecue yeah, sauce, right? Yeah, I don't even really need it, but, but that's a plus for sure. I'm gonna try it anyways, because they did provide it. So. It's good? 
Yeah, the barbecue sauce makes makes anything taste good. Is this the same pastrami that's used in the sandwich? I think so. Let's try it. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> mm. Animal style. I love how smoky the edge are. It has a lot of flavors. Yeah, this tastes like a pastrami. It's so good. It is. It's um, So this one, it has the perfect saltiness to it. It's smoky. The meat is delicious. Yeah. And of course, since this is a pastrami, it could work good in a sandwich. Oh, of course, for sure, yeah. Mm -hmm. If oh. you're a lamb lover, this lamb chop for sure. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that one is really tender. Okay, you know lamb is something that some people like and some people just don't like. Mm -hmm. But the key is you got to get the right lamb. Yeah. If you get the wrong lamb, of course, it's going <laughs> to taste weird. But, but these lamb chops perfect. is perfectly cooked. It doesn't have that lamby okay. taste to it. Yeah. It's perfectly seasoned. It's just a good barbecue item all around. We also have this one too, another one of their hot items on the menu. What is this? This is the Mountain High Loaded Fries. So we got waffle fries and the uh, uh, brisket and also some pickles and the pickled onions and cilantro. Yeah, it sure does look loaded, all right. You want to try? You seriously? Yeah, here we go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got everything. <laughs> it's so crispy. I can hear. It. Did you uh you did you put barbecue sauce on it? I don't know. Oh, it's already come with the barbecue sauce. That's okay. Why. So these fries have barbecue sauce on it. It's, it's part of the brisket, but just imagine that the crispiness of the waffle fries with the barbecue brisket sauce. I think it's a perfect combination. What do you think? I can talk now. I'm too busy. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna leave her alone. I'm gonna let her eat the whole thing by herself. Definitely stop by Kraft because Kraft has got it going on with their <laughs> food and there is a reason why it is like the highest rated barbecue restaurant in Southern California. It has to be experienced basically. For sure. So come here and if you don't know what else to get, just get what we got here. And you're gonna be satisfied, right? Yo, for sure. For sure, you'll be satisfied. <laughs> More than enough. <laughs> All right, so anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode of Rockstar Eater. If you enjoy what I'm doing here on the show, give me a thumbs up. And also comment on the section below, because if you've been to Craft by Smoke and Fire before, I want to hear your story. What do you think about this Texas barbecue experience? And finally, check out Joanna once again on Monster Love to Eat, because you're going to see these same pictures on her social media handle. Yay! Yeah, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel too. So I hope you have a rockin' day today, folks, and I'll see you in the next food adventure.